So when we extend the sequence, uh, we don't have to do anything uh, special. When we uh, break a sequence and we start a new sequence, then all we have to do is uh, you check whether the currently say, uh, the sequence that you just saw was longer than the previously known longest sequence. If that is the case, then the sequence that just ended is becoming the longer sequence that you, longest sequence we have seen so far. Otherwise, you maintain the max length. Okay. Just forget about the currently stopped sequence. Now there is a so that's this loop, and at the end we have to do um, a slight tricky logic. Uh, it could so happen that uh, the the sequence ends with the longest se uh, increasing subsequence. In that case, we will never reset the max length. So if the last sequence is the longest, you also have to handle the case separately. Okay. So we will see an example where um, if you exit out of the loop, that is you have already seen a minus 1, you just have to check whether the last increasing sequence that you saw was in fact the longest. So there is a small if block at the end to do that. In this part, we will uh, just see uh, a small uh, tracing of this program on a sample input so that the logic of the program becomes slightly more clear. Okay. So I have picked a particular input 3, 2, 1, 3, 5, minus 1 okay. and you will see that uh, the longest increasing sequences are 3. Uh, so the increasing sequences are 3, then 2, then 1, 3, 5. Okay. So 1, 3, 5 is going to be the longest increasing subsequence. And let's see how our program will find that out. Okay, so initially you have a bunch of variables which you de declare. So length is zero, max length is zero, and previous and current are undefined. Then you first read previous, so previous becomes three. It's not minus one, so you enter the if condition. Uh, at which point you set length and max length to one. Now you scan the current number. So current becomes 2. So remember that previous is now 3 and current is 2. Okay. So current is not minus 1, therefore you enter the while loop. Previous is less than current uh, is false because previous is 3 and current is 2. Therefore you enter the else part. Max length less than uh, length is false, both are 1. Therefore, you start a new sequence with length equal to 1. Okay. Now you continue the loop with previous becoming current. So previous is now 2 and current you read the next number which is 1. Okay. So previous and current have both moved one step. So current is not minus 1. Previous less than current is again false because uh, 2 is greater than 1. So you enter the else part. Max length and length there is no change. So you reset the length to 1. Previous is current. Uh, so current uh, previous becomes 1 and you scan the next number which is 3. Okay. Now at this point previous is 1 and current is 3, so the if condition is true, so you extend the length, length increases by 1. Okay. Again you uh, advance previous and current, so previous becomes 3, current becomes 5. Okay. Again 3 is less than 5, so increase the length we are extending the sequence. So the length becomes 3. Advance, so previous becomes 5 and current becomes minus 1. At this point you exit the loop. Okay. And now you encounter the situation that uh, max length uh, which is the length that we have seen so far recall that it is 1. Okay. Uh, but the length of the sequence that we just stopped uh, 
the C, uh, the input width is 3 okay that is that happened because the longest increasing contiguous subsequence the was at the end of the input okay. so it happened right at the end so when we exit the loop we have to do one additional check okay we can't simply say that the maximum length that we have seen in the sequence is 1 because max length is the length of the, the the longest sequence we have seen before the current one and the current one was the one that we just stopped with it had a length of 3. So we just check if max length equal to length uh, is less than the length then you set max length to be the length. Okay. So once you do that max length becomes 3. Okay. This is just to handle the case when the longest increasing subsequence is the last. Okay. Now you can exit out of the pro, uh, exit out of the uh, if condition and then print that the maximum length that you have seen is 3. 